Bloody hell, Scott, that didn't take long. We've been here like 10 minutes. That's pulling long. She's a decent sized fish, this one. There you going guys, back at it again on the road heading north. I'm with Cameron today. Hey guys. And if you look in the rear vision mirror, which you can't because you're facing the back of the car, Scott's behind us as well in his car. Now Cameron heard of our awesome tailor session we had last week. So we're heading north to a slightly different area to chase them again, but hopefully tonight we actually nail the Mulloway cam. Hopefully, time will tell that. Yeah, we're just heading over the hill closer to the beach now. Uh, we're gonna turn down some tracks and get into it. What do you reckon, Cam? Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Initial thoughts crossing over the hill. Cameron, what's your thoughts on this water? It looks absolutely incredible. We came from Perth and there were white caps <laughs> everywhere. And I'm just looking at this ocean now and it looks perfect. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not sure how we flicked this one, but I will take it. <laughs> to me, it reminds me of saying of Pirates of the Caribbean. You know when like all that haze is across the water because it's so still. Yeah. And, and the ship just comes out and like, look, this is going to be good. Even if we don't catch fish, Cam. <laughs> how are the conditions? Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys, we've just turned off onto the road heading into Wedge. Um, we're going to go get on the bush tracks, get the Navara cranking, and um, catch Scott on the beach. All righty, see you soon. <laughs> It's not done, yeah, it's done. Yeah, perfect. Now it's done. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Bloody hell, Scott, that didn't take long. We've been here like 10 minutes. That's pulling long. She's a decent sized fish, this one. Go, Scott. See, so we've got the seagulls in the background. <laughs> Good work, Scott. I think I grow my muscles. This isn't easy. Listen to that ah. real squeal. Look at that. What do you reckon, Scott? You a fan of West Australian fishing? Well, we were up here a week ago, literally, and um, this session for Taylor and Her Herring was absolutely incredible. All right, looks like we're going to have just a bit of session this time, eh? Well, this fish is putting up a good fight. It's definitely a lot bigger. See, definitely a struggle to bring in. My wee muscles are getting a really a wee, a big workout here. Well, oh, it's a 
shot. Good shovel noise. Oh, is that a shovel noise or something? Or? That is, Scott. Good job. Yeah, that's it. There you All go, right. mate. Oh, yours. Hold that up for the camera. There you go, what a cracker that is. Woo. That's a nice shovel nose. But we'll do, we'll quickly get these hooks out, we'll let the boy go, and um, we'll try and get a mull away. Maybe some tailor. There we go. Back to the water it goes. Live another day. There we go. Catch you later, buddy. See you on the next one, eh? So, Cam, tell us about this secret. This secret. This is a beautiful Daiwa rod with a roddy reel on the um, bottom. Both of these were brought brand new in 1972. Um, it's been in the family for quite a while. The rod recently just went um, and had a full refurbishment because it was looking a bit old and tatty and all that so we took it to the local guy and he's made it look brand new again um, and you know what I can't wait to catch a fish on it tonight um, but yeah about from that the line we're running on it is 25 um, LB platypus um, platinum so hopefully that does the good today I wanted to keep it um, mono on their reel uh, just because that's what it used to have on it so that's the way I want it to stay. That's why we've still got all the old eyelets as well. Um, when you're traveling and all that, these eyelets will just fold down like so, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice light rod that's just perfect for beach fishing. Anyway, I'll see you soon when we get a fish. What are you doing, Cap? Uh, having a bit of trouble with the old ruddy reel. Well, what's wrong with it? Oh, the drag system seems to not be working properly at the moment, so um, I think for tonight's experiments, it's going to get maybe some tailor and some mulloway. I should probably just change over. Here so, you go. I've got something to help. Thanks, mate. That's really cool. Thank you very much. No worries. Should suit the rod. <laughs> We're on cam. On the trusty Daiwa. That's uh, it, 1970 rod. Look at the flex. Only a little fish, but still cool. Lovely. That was straight away. I only cast in that gutter about two minutes ago. So if you're willing to walk into waist deep water, you will get this. Certainly not as big as Scott's shark he just caught, but still cool nonetheless. A herring on a 1970 rod that's almost 50 years old that's wicked oh well i'll get this guy put in the esky so i think i'm going to eat him for dinner and um hopefully i can get another one
Well, you reckon we're in another herring? I don't know, but it's good how these inside gutters started to work. Yeah, the shallow gutter. Yes. You in a gutter? Fantastic. Try to keep up with the fish. Got a bit of poke in the surf right there. The first little tailor of the evening. Are they, by anyone's books, that's not really the smallest of tailor. You know, that's a, that is a lovely, lovely fish. But look, we'll do. <laughs> I think we'll get him back in the water because there should be plenty more coming around. All right. Oh. Look, how about, how about let's release him now, eh? Look at that. I mean, that's still 40 odd centimeters of Taylor. And off he goes. All right, let's get on to the next one. Too light. Oh, that's not a fish. Got him, Cam. Huh. Another herring. Another herring. On the rod from 1970. Awesome. <laughs> This one? Yeah. Woo! This one's got a little bit of curry in him. This one was in the inner gutter. Probably about 10 metres offshore, I think. I didn't it? even walk into the yard, uh, into the water. Gee, since that sun went down, it's a bit chilly, eh, Scott? It's very chilly. We not nice to have a, um, have a fire play. So what do you got here, Scott? We well, should be a tailor. Come here. Jesus. There you go. Nice, good work. Well, I'm not going to keep you guys for too long. I'm going to release them pretty quickly and um, on to the next one. But I'm going to start fishing the inner gutter because it seems like the inner gutter might be the better gutter to be in. So, anyway. I learnt last time not to put your fingers in the mouth because I got sharp teeth. Anyway, I'll see you on the next fish anyway. There he is. What happy Taylor. There you go. Oh, go on. On to the next one. Getting a few inquiries, eh, Brandon? I think I did just have a little bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a nibble. There you go. Didn't follow through with the boat, not yet. No. I mean, sometimes it's good not to follow through. Oh, it is, yeah. Big mistakes happen. That's a fish. What do you reckon? Herring, Taylor? Oh, it's a beautiful Taylor, I reckon. Beautiful Taylor, that's what we want. But I mean, yeah, you could, you could, you just had persist with this one. He came for it early and then cat to come back for it. In this case, the fish followed through. 
and it shows. If you follow through, you generally get in trouble. Ooh. Oh, second rod gone. Brendan, I thought I would have thought you'd had it in by now. There you go. That inner gutter is really starting to fill up. I'm going to be quick. I think Cameron was getting some inquiries. But there's just another nice average size tailor for the area. Let's let him go. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Now nah, look guys, weeds moved into the gutters now. We ended up getting a few nice hits, but the weed was just taking control of the rigs way too quick. But I think the fish of the night yeah, the shovel nose. It's got the hour today. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Couldn't agree more. It was great to get a fish on the Daiwa rod from the 70s. So it was wicked. I we'll hope you'll get more of that in future episodes. Yeah, look, I think all, all in all, good night. Fish on all the gear. Yeah, herring, tailor, shovel nose. Shovel how, nose. How can you complain? And a few really good missed hits as well. It wasn't all, all roses at the top. Not all beer and skittles. You know, there were very good missed fish i think and probably better fish than what we may have caught after the shovel nose so yeah you just don't know you win some you lose some and that's life as well isn't it so that's right yeah, awesome anyway. fun it is cool all right well um until next time like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure catch you later guys see you later catch you later